So could the Atlanta Hawks be trading away Trey Young to the Orlando Magic this 2024 NBA offseason? Well, here on the screen is a trade proposal or a trade idea from BleacherReport.com. The link to this article is down below in case you want to check out the entire thing uh, for yourself. But this trade would see the Orlando Magic receiving Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks receiving Markel Fultz in a sign-in trade. Wendell Carter Jr., Jet Howard, a 2025 first-round pick and a 2026 first-round pick swap. So if I'm not mistaken, Markel Fultz is a current free agent, so a signing trade would actually not be able to happen at this point. But uh, maybe you're able to throw in some other value, whatever the case may be there. Uh, the Magic definitely have the pieces to make this work. But this trade's pretty intriguing because Trey Young's a pretty talented player. And this Magic team's on the rise, right? They just signed Franz Wagner to a big contract. Uh, obviously, Paulo Bancaro is going to be a superstar in this league one day, possibly even the best player in this league one day is heading in that direction. And added sort of having a big three next year of Trey Young, uh, Paulo Bancaro, and Franz Wagner for the future of this franchise, as well as their other good young players. They could be a sneaky, fun team to watch for the for next year, but also the foreseeable future as well. So that's sort of a win-now trade for this Magic team, looking to get better and make a playoff push in 2025. But if you're the Atlanta Hawks here, who just drafted first overall, for all this past NBA draft, uh, they could be heading into a bit of a rebuild. I know they traded away DeJounte Murray a couple weeks ago now to the Pelicans, so uh, perhaps Trey Young wants to stay on this team long term. Maybe it's going to be his team, whatever the case may be there, but it might not be a terrible idea for the for the uh, Atlanta Hawks to pivot their direction, uh, get back some draft picks, get back some good young talent, which they would be in this deal, and sort of going through a bit of a retool or rebuild that way. So I think the winner of this deal in the short term, it's definitely the Magic. They could be getting better and be a playoff team next year. But for the long term, I'd have to go with the Hawks. But as always, leave your thoughts down below.